What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're showcasing an off-meta Gen 1 Pokemon. Today, we have ourselves a Sand Bell Golem. Theme. Now, Golem, you don't get to see too much in ranked regulation yet, but we're looking to grab some wins with it and showcase the power of this Pokemon. Like I already mentioned, we have Sand Bell as this Pokemon to raise its evasiveness in the Sandstorm, so we're pairing this Pokemon up with Titar. Golem also has Bright Powder to raise his evasiveness even more, so we're hoping to have both these Pokemon out in the field at the same time, then have Golem just start dodging moves and doing some big time damage at the same time. Golem is rocking the Grass Terror type, and then it has Rock Slide and High Horsepower for two stab moves, Rock and Terror Blast to help with that Grass Terror type. And last but not least, it does have Protect. Absolutely loving this little setup here. Hopefully we get to use Golem, grab some wins for you guys. Like I mentioned, we got Titar to pair up with it. Titar has the Sand Seam ability, so Weather Wars are going to be our friend. We want to win it every single time, and we want to just have that Sand Storm popping for the squad. Titar's got the Assault Vest as item, Rock and Rock Slide, Stomping Tantrum, Knock Off, and last but not least, Low Kick. Another duo that we have on today's team is Iron Crown and Didi. Not going to talk about it too much, considering it is all over the meta, and you guys have seen it plenty of times. Final two Pokemon on today's team is going to be Gouging Fire and Free Marina. Now, Gouging Fire, absolutely love this Pokemon. This one has Heat Crash with Dragon Claw, Howl, and Burning Full Work with the Clear Amulet as item. Then Free Marina over here is rocking the Throat Spray with Liquid Voice, Moon Blast, Hyper Voice, Energy Ball, and Protect. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match, showcasing Gollum. It's time to get after it, ladies and gentlemen. We're going up against a kind of similar team. We both have Indeedy and Iron Crown. They also have Gouging Fire, just like us. But then on top of that, they got Torkoal, Cresselia, and Iron Hand. So this team right here, pretty heavy on the Trick Room side. We know they're going to be trying to pop it. I could actually go into a Pokemon like Iron Crown or even Indeedy to try to stop it. I mean, I do have Trick Room to stop their Trick Room. That'd be pretty good. So I could go into both of these and then bring the Sandstorm combo in the back end. That's not bad. That's not bad. Or we can have some fun with this and just go Golem and Titar. That's something I kind of like. I know Golem's special defense is okay, but it's actually kind of boosted with these stats right here. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Love it so much. His attack power is pretty high too, but 45 speed, it does thrive in the Trick Room. I'm not going to lie. You know what? We're going Titar. We're going Golem. They have no way of changing weather besides Torkoal, right? Besides Torkoal. And in that case, I really wouldn't mind it too much. But I'm going to go in with both of them. In the back end, I could go in with Gouge Fire. He's kind of fast. But I'm thinking I'm just going in with like an Eevee to maybe counter Trick Room. And then have Iron Crown. Do I want Iron Crown? Or would I rather have like Pre Marina? No, we're going to go Iron Crown here. We're going to go Iron Crown. I get they have a lot of Psychic Pokemon, but still Tachyon Cutter can still do some big time damage. But we're looking to rip up after us with Gunlum and Titar here in match number one. Look at a little Skiddo, the shiny Skiddo. I did catch a shiny, a shiny Skiddo in my original playthrough of this game, which is hilarious. So I was like probably like two hours into the game. And I was just running up. I was just like, is that thing shiny? I was like, no shot. Shiny Skiddo on the field. It was awesome. But they end up going into Iron Hands and Cresselia. So Cresselia wants to be the one to pop Trick Room. We already know that's the plan. But I'm going to go for a Rock Side here. And I do have Terra Ghost, which actually isn't bad at all. Nice little Terra Ghost, and I'm going to hope that he actually fakes out the T-Tar, even though he's probably faking out the Golem, let's be honest here. He's honestly probably faking out the Golem, but you know what? Screw it. We're just going to go for this. Maybe I can get the fake out dodge with this all these evades and this boost. Is that possible? I think I've done it before. Actually, I don't know. It might never miss. I could be wrong. I could definitely be wrong, but we're going to go for this Ghost Terra here. Just so we can dodge fake out, maybe I shouldn't have went after that risky play, but I'll take it all day if it works. I'll take it all day if it works. And they're going to Thrasize as well. Is that going to be a Grass Iron Hands? It's got to be, right? Yep, Grass Iron Hands coming out here. I am scared of the fighting moves here as well. That's another reason why I want to Thrasize T-Tar. It is four times weak. Golem could probably eat up one of those moves. And they end up not going for fake out. So knock off doing big time damage. Taking off the safety goggles. And as long as... Oh, we don't like that. As long as Rock Slide lands, we should be thriving here. We should be looking pretty good because we're stopping Trick Room. That's the plan. That's the plan. You're looking You're looking real scary. You're looking real scary. Considering, to be honest, to be honest, that Iron Hands outspeeds my Golem. This Golem slow. 45? 
that slow. You probably thought I was exploding at that point. Which I kind of wish I was, right? Explosion would have been awesome. If I had explosion on this thing, it would have worked so perfectly next to this tower right here. Then I could have exploded. I could have got out a faster Pokemon. And now they're sitting here with Belly Drum. Belly Drum, what's it called? Iron Hands, which is terrifying. I, I don't like it one bit. Not one bit. We do have the Sandstorm. We're hoping they don't have Tor Torkoal. Could kind of mess me up a little bit because we're kind of hoping for a little bit of dodges. But I think they're going to throw out Torkoal here, correct? Man. I thank Torkoal. Um, okay. The Torkoal out and about. Looking rather scary. Uh, they could be going for... They could be going for an electric move, or they could just be going for a fighting move. If I were them, I'd probably be, probably be going for a fighting move. So I'm just going to protect the golem. I'm going to hard swap into... Probably Indeedy, right? Yeah, I think we hard swap into Indeedy. I'm going to hard swap Titar. I want the weather for later, and we're just going to bring out... Uh, Indeedy. And then on top of that, we're going to protect the golem, like I already said, and... Try to get the weather back out after this. So I don't mind swapping into Indeedee after this. Just so we have a chance to dodge some moves here. But if I had to guess, probably a Drain Punch into the Golem slot makes the most sense. I am scared of the Eruption too. And yeah, there's a Drain Punch. The so big time block for us. What are you going for? Heat Wave maybe? Yeah, you're going to go for a Heat Wave. Indeedee should be able to soak this. So now I can change back weather. Drain Punch will KO the Golem, which is kind of tough news here. Or I could just go for a follow me rock slide. That's not a bad play. Just to chunk up some damage. I actually kind of like that. So we're just going to go follow me rock slide here. I could go helping hand, but... He's going to go drain punch. He's going to go drain punch. He could end up uh, swapping out Torkoal here as well. So I think the play here is just to follow me this turn. Because our main threat here is this Pokemon right here. This Iron Hands has plus 6 on attack due to Belly Drum. It's terrifying. So that thing getting off a Drain Punch, it's going to KO Indeedy, but still. That thing getting off a Drain Punch into the Golem, just taking it out, it's just terrible because it gets back so much HP. It really does. It does take some damage to Rocky Helmet, which is nice. Rock Slide, we're hoping for some nice damage into Torkoal, maybe a flinch. Would be pretty cool. So Rock Slide does end up connecting. Beautiful. Chipping up some nice damage. We love it. Give me a flinch. No, you still get off a Heat Wave, which Golem should so. Yeah, all day. Not very effective. So from here, I could now bring out T-Tar. <clears throat> and I could just go for like a low kick here if I want to. Or I could just bring out. Yeah, I might as well bring out you. Just expanding force. Makes the most sense. Yeah, let's bring him out. Bring him out. Iron Crown coming out here. So not a bad place for us. We got Golem out here early. Still on the field, which is awesome. And he looks so sick. Golem looks so cool. Uh, he really does. Just a boulder. Just a boulder with arms and a face. It's so funny. It's so funny. But from here... I think we just rock slide and we just make sure that this Torkoal goes out. And then Expanded Force should be able to finish off Iron Crown, no problem. Even though Iron Crown potentially could be Assault Vested. Definitely could be. I don't mind just going for Expanded Force rock slide. Expanded Force coming out here. Bop, big time damage, Torkoal, KO in that. Now we're sitting in a beautiful position where I can take weather control whenever. On top of that... I have Iron Crown just chilling on the field with the Psychic Terrain, and they don't have Trick Up. It's huge. It's huge. It is huge. So, again, another Expanded Force should be able to finish off the Iron Hands. We're really hoping, right? And they're going to have to throw out Gouging Fire here for the final Pokemon. Gouging Fire. So honestly, high horsepower is nice. I don't mind all that weather. Actually, we might want to change weather here. We might want to change weather. 165. We might want to change weather here. We don't want all that sun boost. Yeah, we're going to change weather. We're definitely going to change weather. So make sure I'm swapping the Golem. We're going to swap him into Tita. And then I'm just going to pop a nice lovely expanded force. We don't want the Protosynthesis boost. We don't want the fire damage boost to be able to KO my Terrakion. Because if that thing outspeeds and KOs my Terrakion, say with a heat crash, that is, we are in some trouble. So I'm just going to change up weather here. Try to play my own game, kick up the sandstorm, and protosynthesis is gone. Make an iron crown out speed. Now he's gonna go for another detect, which is bad. It is not bad. And yeah, iron crown now out speeds. Bang bang. See you later, iron hands. Good place for us. I'm not sure if booster energy was boosted in the gouging fire speed. I did not even check it out. All I saw was like the boost or protosynthesis pop. 
Probably should have looked down and see what stat was getting boosted, but this is what he wanted to do. Let's go into Flare Blitz. We would have died, so good thing I Protosynthesis popped it off, if it was speed. If it was speed, which I think it was, right? Most likely was. So Flare Blitz comes out here, finishes off Iron Crown, and he's going to lose some HP to everything. Buffets, Life Orb, Recoil, and you're dead. You're dead. We don't even need to throw out Golem here for the final KO, but there it is, ladies and gentlemen. What a first match. Golem picking up a victory. Let's hop into our second. Not a bad way to get this video started. Actually played really well swapping a T-Tar at right times, getting Iron Crown out there, dealing with Belly Drum Iron Hands, and grabbing a win with Golem out on the field for pretty much the whole match. But now we're hopping into our second match. Let's look to grab ourselves a winning record. Looking to go 2-0. Going up against Incineroar. Now Incineroar, going to be rather tough because we can't really lead the Golem T-Tar combo up against that because Intimidate will do us dirty. We don't like that too much. On top of that, leading Iron Crown and Indeedee could also be tough, because that is a dark type right there, immune to psychic moves, and it does resist steel. So to be honest, we have to kind of go a different route. Gouging Fire, not bad with the clear amulet. I kind of like that. On top of that, Primarina's not bad here as well. So I think that is honestly going to be our lead going into both of these guys. And then in the late game, we're going to go T-Tar and the Golem. They got no way of weather control. I like that a lot. Plus, we don't want to give them Psychic Control with Psychic Terrain, considering they have Iron Crown. So, I'd rather just not bring our Ndidi and our Iron Crown. So, this one's going to be tough. Like I said, Incineroar, a big time problem. Always is, always will. Actually, maybe not always will, but probably always will, right? Like, Iron Crown, or uh, Incineroar is the real deal, man. It is so good. Unless you come out with a Pokemon that does what he does better, which I doubt they ever will, then we're going to be seeing Incineroar for the rest of the time being. But they end up going Iron Crown alongside with their Incineroar, who's going to Intimidate with Clear Amulet. On top of that, we got a special attacker, so that does not matter. So from here, he can easily fake out. He's going to Quark Drive boost, and he's going to boost his special attack. So he's ready to go. He's ready to rip up with potentially Steel moves, right? So from here, I'm just going to go for Heat Crash, and I'm just going to protect the Primarina. Let me just protect Primarina. I feel like most likely you fake out Primarina, correct? I feel like they do, but they're going to Terrasalize, most likely going Iron Crown Water. I should have made that read. And it's going to be Iron Crown Fairy, which I don't mind that much. I don't mind that much. It is a little scary when going up against Gadget Fire, but the typing's better than Water, let's be honest here. Protect's going to pop from the Prima Arena. I'm going to hope that Fake Out, maybe Tachyon Cutter, that'd be cool. Yep, there's Fake Out. Beautiful. Beautiful read by us to dodge the Fake Out. And go for Tachyon Cutter? No, Expanded Force just into the uh, Gadget Fire Slot. Should chunk up damage. Not half, which is beautiful. Heat Crash going to come through here. Bop. Not bad damage. Not half either. So, we're sitting in this position. He could Parting Shot into me. That is definitely a potential thing that he could do. And I think from here, maybe we just Burning Bulwark. And then I just Hyper Voice. Try to get that Throat Spray popping. So, Burning Bulwark coming out here. Send up those blockers. And we'll see what he wants to do here. Expanded Force, going into Gouging Fire again. So not a bad play for us. Uh, Primarina, do you outspeed this Incineroar? I hope you do. You don't. And he's going to double down into Gouging Fire. Let's go. Nothing better than when you protect and they double down into it. It's just such a good feeling. It's such a good feeling. Hyper Voice chunking up damage. We love it. And on top of that, our third tray is going to pop. But of course, Incineroar always rocking that Citrus Berry. It keeps it on at all times. This thing always has a berry to munch on. It's just so good. But Throat Spray popping. Now with the Throat Spray boost, we might be able to KO at its HP that's at. So from here, um, honestly, I'm just going to double down into Incineroar. I think Hyper Voice KOs. Iron Crown. I could actually Hal here and say it picks up a double KO. You know what? I'd rather maybe just swap here. I think it KOs both. And I could swap for Weather, but to be honest... You know, we'll double down just in case. I'm more confident in this Hyper Voice KO and the Iron Crown, to be honest. I'm going to double down into an Incineroar slot, and he's going to expand in force. You should soak this up. You do. Beautiful. And you will get off a Dragon Claw beforehand, doing that. And he probably doubles down to Gadget Fire. Yep, you get rid of it. No problem. That's no problem, because I should get a double KO here. I'll take the two-for-one trade, right? I'll take the two-for-one. Hyper Voice flying out here. Primarina. Yep, there's double KO. Beautiful. Not bad plays for us. 
I maybe should have swapped. I was thinking of swapping into like T-Tar, but still, they would have knocked off my Assault Vest. I wouldn't have liked that. I mean, T-Tar would have been actually been a great swap, though. Because I would have dodged Expanded Force and on top of that. But again, I don't. I didn't want him knocking off my... Uh, I didn't want him knocking off my... Uh, what's it called? My Assault Vest. So now I have these two Pokemon. I'm going to set up the Sandstorm right now. I'm going to have T-Tar. We might not even use Golem this match. But, ooh, they go into the Lando. Lando comes out here, very strong Pokemon, scared of the ground moves. I am plus one on Primarina, which is beautiful. It's gorgeous. Something we love. I get to bring out the T-Tar here. Now the final Pokemon is going to be Robum, which, ooh. I don't like that. I just don't like that. <laughs> it's so good up against all my Pokemon, but I still have Terra. I just have to find out which Pokemon is going to have the best Terra to kind of deal with that. Probably Primarina, I'm not gonna lie. Prima Arena probably has the best heart, but the problem here is if they do go into a sludge bomb into the Prima Arena slot, which is definitely a possibility. It is definitely a possibility. I still want to go for Rock Slide. And I think we protect and we just kind of read out the situation, right? I think we read out the situation. I'm just going to protect Prima Arena. They might even fake out Prima Arena again. So I'm going to protect, see how this one plays out. Let that go. And we'll go from there. Wow, it's a good battle. It's a good battle. So let's see, fake out, earth power, flying a T-Tar. We don't like that. We don't like that. T-Tar, can you not speak it off turn here? You get a crit too. Oh man, that's ugly. That's real ugly. Lando is orbed. He's gonna go for a wood hammer in the slot. Yeah, we don't like that. We are definitely, you're definitely getting the Terra. No doubt in my mind you're getting the grass Terra. No doubt in my mind. Rock slide connects. Awesome, chipping up some nice damage. And everyone's gonna get buffed by Storm besides my T-Tar. So, Golem could come in clutch in the back end. I mean, it's not going to eat up a grassy glide. Let's be honest. It's just not eating up a grassy glide. It's not. It's four times a week to it. It's not eating up a grassy glide. But it can dodge a grassy glide, which would be good. But from here, I'm going to terrasize into grass. Hoping the sludge bomb isn't coming through here. That'd be terrifying. And we're going to pop a hyper voice here. Hyper voice will KO the landers. It won't KO the golem. But... Well, not the Golem, the, uh, the Rillaboom, but it will make us resist a lot of Rillaboom's moves, like Grass Guide and what have So the Grass Terror coming out from the Prim Arena. They're going to close out this match, and they're going to Earth Power finish me off, which I don't mind. I was just worried more so about the Sludge Bomb coming from this slot. So with Earth Power, it's going to take us out. Lando loses some HP. Woodhammer going to fly. We soak that all day. Actually did a ridiculous amount of damage. And he's going to take some recoil. And then Hyper Voice going to come out here. Plus one. Take out the Lando. Deal a tiny bit of damage into that roll boom. But that should pretty much wrap up this match, right? That should pretty much wrap up this match. I love where we're sitting now. I love where we're sitting. So now we have Sandstorm out here with Golem. Again, if Golem gets even slightly glanced by a grass move, it's dead all day. But it has Sand Veil and... Bright Powder. So it has a chance to dodge it, which would be pretty cool. Which would be pretty cool. So Golem's going to come out here, try to clean up this match, and, it, and it's looking like we're going to go 2-0 here. Because from here, I don't think you can KO my Prima Arena, and I'm just going to drop a Rock Slide, and on top of that, launch a Moon Blast. kind of curious to see what he's going to do here. He's going to go for a U-turn. Ooh. Oh. U-turn looking scary, but not enough damage there. Moon Blast should just finish this thing off, right? Yeah, all day. So Golem just comes out for a nice little picture. Comes out to see what's happening in match number two. But we're 2-0. We grabbed ourselves a winning record already. Let's hop it to our third. Look for a perfect record. I bet you guys didn't expect us to be 2-0 with this Golem squad at this point. But guess what? I am. I did it in you guys' faces. We're 2-0 with Golem right here. We'd love to use it a little bit more here in match number three. We actually got to use it really well in match number one. Match number two, it came in the back end. And let's be honest, it didn't really do anything. But we're looking for a perfect record. We're 2-0. Love it. Love it with Golem. But I might end up leading Golem here, considering they have no way of weather control. So T-Tar Golem could be pretty solid. Fluttermane, they got Incineroar. Oh, we don't like Incineroar. Who they're probably going to lead. And that's why I might go Primarina Gouging Fire. Yeah, we got it. We have to. So I'm actually going to go into same squad as last time. Same squad as last time. Try to bring the weather in the back end. But yeah, to be honest, just Incineroar and or Incineroar really would just mess us up. If we let Golem and T-Tar into Incineroar, Timmy just stops us right in our tracks pretty much. So it's going to be a tough uphill climb from there. So instead, let's go in with our Gouging Fire and Primarina Pre Pre lead. <laughs> and uh, let our Clear Amulet do some work, right? You got to be going Incineroar. You don't. I would have loved to let Golem here. I would have absolutely loved it. It would have been beautiful. 
But they're gonna end up bringing out Protosynthesis, what I mean, and Dark and Fighting Urshu. So speed's getting boosted. I don't like this. What's your terror type? Straight Fairy. I mean, that's gonna be good for any dark moves that could come across here. And that's gonna be our play. We're gonna Terrasalize here. I'm gonna Heat Crash into you. And I am just going to look to pop Hyper Voice and get that Throat Spray popping. All right, let's go. Let's get after it. Wow, no Incineroar. Hopefully you don't have it in the back end, but, but you probably do. But you probably do. But hopefully you guys are enjoying the content back. Daily of those back. So excited to be saying that, dude. Missing out on like a week of content. Really hurt my soul. Didn't like it one bit. But hopefully you guys are still enjoying everything. He has a Protect and Flutter main. I don't mind that too much. He's probably going for like a Wicked Blow into my Gadget Fire, right? Yeah, and the, the Fairy Terror was a good call. It was a great call. He crashed and get blocked. But... But now we have a Primarina who's plus one boosted on special attack due to the nice little third spray. Beautiful. So now, honestly, Urshfu's sitting here like, okay, what do I do from here? I actually should have Moonblast it, but it's probably Focus Sash, let's be honest. Probably Focus Sash. So another Hyper Voice looks like it should KO that Urshfu, but chances are you probably swap here, right? I'm just going to do the same thing. We're going to go Heat Crash. We're going to go Hyper Voice here. Keep spamming this because I don't think Urshfu stays on the field with this matchup, right? Fairy, Terry, Gouging, Fire. Then on top of that, you got another fairy type on the other side. It's just not looking good for him, right? Plus, Flutter Main already protected, so it's very vulnerable here. Probably not going to go for a double protect. And if it does, it's probably not going to land it. The odds are just not in his favor. So we're going to double down into him here. He's going to go for a Moon Blast, which Gouging Fire soaks rather well. Wicked Blow is going to fly into this thing, soaking that as well. So we're going to probably say bye-bye to Urshifu here. And probably bye-bye to Flutter Main. He crash next with this Hyper Voice. Oh my god, we, we only need the Heat Crash. We only need the Heat Crash. So I'm hoping this Hyper Voice does KO. It is plus one. I think it should with the plus one boost. And it does. Awesome. So this lead working phenomenal here. We have Weather in the back end ready to go. And we're just off to a really good start. Prima Arena and Gadget Fire lead just so nice. So now hopefully they do have Incineroar because I'm kind of hoping it comes out here now and it can't swap back. And there it is. Beautiful. So now my back end physical attackers can come in here freely and just get to working on that. They also have Lando. Uh, am I worried about Lando? A little bit? Not really, but they're just going to fake out the Primarina. Let's be honest here. They might even double down in Primarina. They might even double down in the Primarina here. They're definitely faking out Primarina. Um... Smart call would just be a double protector. And I'm gonna make the smart call. So we can read out what they're gonna do. They're gonna put on their Terra probably into the Lando. Yep. I'm gonna go poison. Yep. And they're gonna fake out. They're definitely faking out Primarina, let's be honest here. Primarina's getting a fake out, and they're probably doing like a Sans here store, maybe. That's what I would think. That's what I would think, right? But I'm just double protecting just to make the safe play, right? Just to make the safe play. Fake out's gonna come across here. Oh, it actually goes into the gouging fire. Okay, so you fake out the gouging fire. They're probably reading the protect. Are you double down into gouging fire? No. Okay. I feel you. I see you. This one's definitely gonna be tough for us. Um, I'm gonna try to go for the heat crash leads into that. And if we can, I would love to just hyper push here. If we can we'll see what has one plays out here we'll see we shall see there's a lot of spawn to the flyer i don't think this chaos right i don't think this chaos it does oh it is super effective i always thought it was neutral i don't know why so yeah it chaos more than he crash is gonna fly is this ko you it doesn't it doesn't, and chances are you're going to Flare Blitz for, yeah, I was going to say, Flare Blitz, KO, and now I get to bring out the T-Tar Golem, which I love. I got weather control, I like our typings, I love everything about it, I love everything about it. Plus, Golem has the Sand Veil and the Bright Powder. Looking to dodge some moves, we're hoping it can dodge some moves here. So, perfect time for us to get these guys out here, Incineroar can't intimidate us anymore, they have no way of weather control. This match should be ours, right? Unless Lando is OP, let me be honest here. Landers in its incarnate form, which that is. Super, super strong. Hits like a truck. Very terrifying. But from here, we are just going to go into double rock slide. Or I could go high horsepower here. But double rock slide is definitely going to be a play. All day. Just in case one misses. He ends up protecting Lando. And we have double rock slide incoming. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. He's gonna go for a knockoff in that slot. Take off for Assault Vest. No big deal. Double Rock Slide actually probably KOs this Incineroar. If it lands, let's be honest. Rock Slide has some history of missing on the channel, right? Rock Slide coming out here. Big time damage. Gom, can you finish this off? Oh, you got a berry. Never mind. You little biscuit. You like I said in the last match, you always keep a berry on you. It's Incineroar's thing. It's the best item for him. Can't go wrong with the citrus berry. Or figgy berry. Citrus or figgy. Both really good, but citrus berry. Been seeing a lot of usage on that. But Gollum's still doing a massive amount of damage onto Incineroar. And Buffets are slowly chipping through here as well. So another double rock slide. We'll finish off this match. And we will go 3-0 with Gollum. Something I never expected to say. That's crazy. That's crazy. Hopefully, guys, did enjoy today's video, man. Gollum rocking out. Sans here, Storm's gonna come out here. And guess who's dodging it? T-Tar dodges it. What? T-Tar dodges it with no boost. And Gollum, you know what? Gollum just dies. All right, never mind. We might lose this. I might have just jinxed myself. I might just jinx myself. Gollum does not dodge that. That really hurts his soul. I had Bright Powder and Sand Bell. Rockside does double connect, though. T-Tar has our back. That's so funny that T-Tar dodged the move. Not Gollum. But hey, 3-0 perfect record. Come on, man. That's too easy. All I wanted to do today was hop on some Pokemon, record some Pokemon for you guys, and rock out with an off meta team. And we did above and beyond that. We didn't just rock out with this team. We dominated with this team. Going 3-0 with this Golem team. Absolutely love it. You had Golem, you had T-Tar combo, you had Iron Crown and Indeedee. And surprisingly enough, Gouging Fire and Primarina paired up really, really well. They had nice synergy on top of that. Kind of countered Incineroar in today's video. We love it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.